we have to go to uh, register for the uh, park entrance first. And this uh, bumpy, bumpy hanging bridge is quite interesting. I think kids will love walking over here. And people might scream when uh, someone jump. Uh, first thing to do is uh, uh, register for the places, the park that we wanted to go. Then uh, we have to pay. It's not free. Malaysian cheaper. Oh, it smells something good. Someone cooking smell very good. Uh, Malaysia is cheaper and the foreigner is like slightly pricey, almost double the price. At the park, there's one cafe, Jetty. The office reception is over here. I will need to go over here to make the payment and uh, re register for the park visit. Uh, should we go inside here? Yeah. Remember to wear the mask and. Uh, Oh, that's a discovery center. So you just need to register your name, your nationality, your passport number, your contact number. And remember, must bring your IC or your passport over here to, for registration. Once you register, you pay, then you will receive this wristband for you to prove that you can, uh, you already paid. Lah. So all these places that are like this one, free of charge, free of charge, free of charge, and then free of charge. So uh, you have to check with them that how much you need, we need to pay for the activity. So all those, as, uh, you can see the cost, cost, cost thing, uh, you have to pay. Got everything done very fast and uh, this lady is very, very nice and speak very good English. Got everything very clear. So tomorrow then we will explore this area. Then you will know what you can do when you come to uh, Molo National Park. This is a discovery center that you have to visit. Before you go to any activity, you'll learn a lot. So this is like the Penan Sulak, which is a nomad native. And then it will tell you about the Mulu. It will tell you, show you a lot of photo. Oh, I see. Naked man. Oh, so most of them are naked. And then, uh, but they will, sometimes they will wrap with the cloth. So watch your step when you are exploring this area and then will show you about the cave, all this thing a uh, good place that you should visit and the fossil you can really see that in the cave if you are lucky enough Hi. okay so walk around over here you see this uh, if you are strong enough you have time in Mulu to visit this uh, pinnacle and then oh wow it's looking good so it's telling you that what the animal that you were able to see you're lucky enough to see the hornbill we saw two yesterday and then the frog oh this is the rock sided frog when it sound it say what 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 <laughs> The calling, the, the calling is what, what, what? And a snake that you're able to see, and the gecko. Okay, so this is why I'm telling you that when you are, before going to the park, you should come over here. Okay, let's go out now, sliding door over here, then exit to this cafe. Um, the food here, I was told that it's very, very delicious. There's a very clean toilet right over there with air conditioning. So, yep. Then the souvenir shop for you to buy souvenir postcard. You do buy a postcard, and then you're actually going to uh, the tear cave. You can drop a postcard in tear cave with a post box. The toilet is in the little hut like this. It's a uh, look clean, no bad smell. This is for the gents, and I guess you can uh, shower. Oh no, no shower here. Clean. It's a very clean toilet. We are at the Mulu Cafe right now. We can get beer, we can get uh, wine, rice wine, sake. Um, I would like to let Patricia to try the laksa because you, you already tried. It's good? It's good, it's good, yeah. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm try more. Okay. <laughs> Not spicy? Just right. Spicy and fragrant. Mm. Okay, I'm going to give you a try then. The, the men then follow after me. In the park, you can see a lot of unexpected animal like snake that will get very near to you. So don't be panic. Uh, make sure you always stick with your guide. If you are a self guide, and then uh, just uh, stay away from them. 
So uh, when you see all these things, do take a very nice photo for them, nice video of them, but uh, try not to harm them. Uh, in case of any uh, insect fly to you, just blow away. So this is a stick bug. If your eyes sharp enough, you're able to see that. It's a very quick, giant stick bug. And uh, make sure you bring a stop, uh, powerful torch light to the cave and uh, wear covered shoe, bring enough of drinking water and some snack because uh, uh, you'll get hungry for sure. If you're lucky enough, you'll see that this is a shop shell turtle in the cave. I am quite ha we are quite lucky to see that and very happy to see that. So when uh, bug land to you, just uh, blow them, blow away. You don't uh, smash them. So um, they are all very precious in the park. And also, if you are going to the clear water cave, do bring extra swim trunk. Um, to go there, the water is freezing cold, but it's very, very comfortable to uh, swim over there. Do also bring enough snack. I think that is the most important thing. Enough snack, enough drinking water, covered shoe, torch light, and then, uh, oh yeah, uh, umbrella or poncho. That is the thing that you must bring to uh, this Mulu Park. Oh. I hope that this video is helpful for you uh, when you arrive to Mulu. First thing, go to the register for the activity that you want to uh, go. And then uh, it's helpful for you to plan for your visit to which cave and uh, which activity. With that, goodbye!